Matthew Kaladza, congratulations, uh, Edinburgh Open champ. Uh, the, the tournament, it's a good good tournament. Yeah, yeah, it's a golf tournament for sure. Looking at the gray shirt year for you so far, it is a gray shirt year, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Looking at the year so far, you know, I mean, you, you knocked Keyshawn off. Keyshawn beat you earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, Penn State, that was that was a tough um, a tough match. It was one of those ones where I was I was just dinged up and uh, and mentally, I think more than anything, I just I just folded a little bit more than I should have. Um, and that's kind of the takeaway from that tournament for me was don't give in, especially when I don't have to. Um, and so I did in this match, and it was good. I looked at your Midlands, and I was there watching, and you really dominated Ashton once. Yeah. Once you beat yep. him once in the quarters, I think. Yep. Yeah, and then in the uh, in the wrestlebacks, beat me on riding time. I think I got a takedown. He got two escapes, uh, and then he beat me on riding time in the third period. Um, it's, it's wrestling, like I said. Uh, flipping that switch is huge. Flipping the switch and just saying, I know what I have to do. I'm going to get it done. That's uh, that's what wins every match. You know, they say wrestling's however percent mental. Um, it's true. Looking at you know just the gray shirt year, how huge is and benefit for you is it? You know the Ivies don't have a red shirt year. Yeah, you got to yeah, delay enrollment, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's a little bit tough, uh, but for me it was a, it was a pretty plain decision, especially with the 2016 Olympics coming up. I was hoping that'd give me a chance to you know go out to the OTC some, uh, train as much as I can with uh, with guys freestyle. In fact, after this tournament, I'm switching straight over to freestyle. It gives me the ability to work with uh, with Coach Dubuque, Coach Ayers, Coach Gray, and now Nick Heflin, which is which is great. Um, and then I still head over to Buxton School of Wrestling to work with Coach Buxton because he's great as well. All those guys, so much help they've given me. It's it's. You, I can't put it into words. When's the last time you actually lived in Ohio? It sounds like you're living in Jersey. Yeah. When's the last time you lived in Ohio? Uh, I would say before, at my freshman year, before I went to um, to Blair. And uh, I think I've been there ever since. I don't I don't know what keeps me. Uh, my mom's not too happy about that, but um, sometimes I got to do what I got to do in order to get the training. And my dad understands that. My family understands that. They've been nothing but supportive. Uh, my mom still loves it when I come home, though. Is the Keyshawn Hayes thing, is this a budding rivalry? Oh my gosh. Uh, the first time we wrestled was in Tulsa when I was probably like eight. Uh, and I think I think he beat me on like slide buys. And then I, I had him a week later at Liberty and I beat him. Um, so we've been wrestling since we were little. Did you wrestle at uh, Iron Man? I don't think we wrestled at Iron Man. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. But looking at it, is this something that's going to be, is this a rivalry that's probably going to continue throughout college for the next four oh, years? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's... Uh, Keyshawn and I go back and forth, you know, all through the years, and I, I imagine there's a few more years of that to come, especially with us both at 41. Uh, I think he's taking a red shirt, and, you know, we're both going to be at it for the next few years here. Looking at Princeton, I mean, the team is, is vastly improved. I don't know if you know this, but they were a dropped program in the last 15, 20 years. Yeah, yeah. From being a dropped program to being a top 25 competitive program, a place that you chose to go and be at, and your brother was there as well. Yeah. But like looking at the progress of Princeton wrestling, what's the future hold, and, and, and how confident are you? Um, I'm in terms of confidence. You know, our confidence is through the roof. Um, and I honestly have to attribute everything, um, everything that you're talking about to Coach Harris. He's got a vision. He's got a plan. Uh, whether that's in the long run or in the short one, um, he's he's there every day thinking about every little micro detail about how to make this program better. And I think uh, a lot of it. A lot of it came from my brother, my decision to, to go to Princeton, because he um, he knows what Coach Ayers is like. He was the one who primarily worked with Coach Ayers when he was there. Um, and so I knew what I was getting, and I knew it was going to be good, and it's been nothing but good sense. Obviously, the education, no one can argue with that, but, you know, so many people, the Big Ten this, the Big Ten that, and it's, it's such a grind in the Big Ten. It's a little different in the Eastern Wrestling, like EIWA, where you guys are. And, and you know the training partners are different. Everything's different. Your academics are completely different. But is there any any regrets? You're not a Big Ten guy. Was it 100 percent the right choice? It was. It was 100 percent the right choice. Uh, I have absolutely no regrets. Um, and that's that's part of the reason I chose Princeton. Also, is because it is different. Um, you know, the, during finals, we we don't have practice. It's on your own. Um, and that also gives us a little break break to uh, to recoup. A little bit um, but academics are important to me too so stuff like that um, that's just one example but it puts things into perspective and I want both academics and um, and wrestling to be at the top of everything I do in my life 
I look at the shirt. Yeah. I, I was at the dual meet. They gave you a little bit of grief, man, in Champaign oh, County. Oh, yeah, they And did. that's that's where you, you spend a lot of your summers there. I do. And, and that's like kind of, was kind of crazy to me, but how'd you feel about it when the Graham fans were giving it to you a little bit? Oh, man. Um, I can't be too mad at them. I know the guys. I love the guys. Uh, I, you know, I've been hopping, hopping the border between uh, between the Jeff Jordan State Champ Camp and, and coming out to Blair for you know, I guess it's three or four years now. Um, my Princeton shirts is all, all soaked, so I would have worn that <laughs> instead. Um, but yeah, I, I love those guys. Nothing but respect for them. And yeah, that was a close duel. Your dad's super supportive. I've always seen him everywhere with you and your brother. Uh, yeah. He's a doctor, right? Yes, he is. What are you going to be? <laughs> if you ask him, uh, I'd probably be a doctor too. Right now I'm keeping my options open. I really like engineering. Um, it's also tough to be an engineer in college and also wrestle D1. Um, if I had to say med school in the next few years, uh, after college, for sure. Any doubt in your mind you can't be a four-time NCAA champion? No, not at all. I'm, I'm gunning for it. It's coming. Right, you got anything else for me? I don't think so. Thanks right. so much. Hey, safe travels, bud. Thanks.